Hi, this is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. Hi, Pisces. And this is uh, your reading for the week of forget, October 9th through the 16th. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Please become a member. Offer private readings. I also offer beautiful IET, which is a healing modality. You can read more about it on my website, rightcolor.com. And you could also purchase handmade textiles and make beautiful silk scarves and t-shirts, etc. Please check it out. All right, so I get a little mini message, and the message is make time. Make time. So sometimes we're overwhelmed in our lives. It's like, oh, I have to do this. It's like make the time. And make the time for like yourself, make the time for yourself, right? So, you know, oh, I got all this going on. It's like, I have 15 minutes to meditate. I have 15 minutes to cook for myself. I have 15 minutes or whatever it is, you know, to go for a walk, to, you know, you have to make, unless you make the time for yourself, it's not gonna, you have to slot it out. All right. Oh, lovely. Okay. We have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is about stability. It's about a little bit of celebration. I always feel like the Four of Wands is this sense of home. And the sense of home and the sense of being comfortable. And um, it's not luxurious. It's, it's about comfort, right? It's like homemade food. You know, it's like a home wedding. There, there's that sense of being, um, having enough and of being really satisfied and stable in that. There's that energy. Then I get the star. So the star could be prophetic. It could be the sense of joy and enthusiasm of a new direction. It's a blessing from above. It's about uh, bringing balance back in. Um, it has an energy of, there's a, uh, uh, Oh, moving forward. Um, it, so there's an energy in the star card of like the blessing of heaven coming upon you and you're being able to utilize it. That, that's the energy. And then I have the devil. So the devil is interesting because the devil is basically, um, it's about a false path. It's about a false path. And, you know, sometimes the devil is really about really realizing, um, you know, I'm going down the wrong road. Um, I've been, uh, I'm too attached to something and it's not good for me. Like I, I, I put too much emphasis on a certain aspect. Okay, so let's see as it evolves. Yeah, but you're going to be able to burn that out. I think you're going to, have to realize it because this is really the card of knowledge and it's your opposite, which is always interesting. This is the card of like looking within and seeing what the light has to say and what your light is leading. And that's what this is about. And I think you're like, as you look, as you're comfortable, right? You're interested in new direction and being blessed and like, uh, you know, new inspiration and hope. It's like, well, Actually, the, what I begin to see and have knowledge of, because he's like the scholar, um, is, you know, what false path I'm on that is not going to serve me, that I feel sort of uh, attached to in an unhealthy way. And I've learned my lesson, and I've learned my lesson, because now that this is clear, I've learned my lesson, I've incorporated it, and I can move forward into a new way of life, a new way of thinking, and the inspiration is super strong. This is Gabriel with the messages. And maybe I've been like living small, maybe it's time to expand, maybe it's time to move, maybe it's time to uh, see things from a larger angle, maybe it's time to, because this, you see, if you see over here, 
this is, um, you know, attached to the wall. So it could only grow so far and it has to be stationary. This one is not stationary. I mean, I know he's standing still, but, you know, he's planning on getting on a boat or planning on receiving something from the boat. So, you know, and he's more expansive. So it's like, maybe I've been playing small. Maybe I've, I've been so focused in this obsessive way over this one thing, it has to be like that. And it's like, maybe I can open myself up a little bit. Maybe I can open myself up a little bit to new possibilities because the high priestess is here and she's creating something, you know, like subconsciously and she, she you know, it's really important. I, I, you know, I think you know what it is, you know, it could be different because I'm, who knows how many people I'm reading for. Um, it's like, I have to get myself out of the dark. I have to get myself out of the dark and, you know, expand and see things for as large as they really are. You know, sometimes we get into like this little, um, getting into detail about a certain thing that's not working in your life. And it's like, well, you can, you know, hover around in the dark in there, or you could just like, like, let's say you lost something in your room, right? And it's under the dresser or who the hell knows where it is. You know, you heard it bounce and you know, it's in there. You know, somebody's like a little screw and you're driving yourself crazy. You know, yeah, like the devil is a little bit like that. It's like, oh, well, I'm going to obsess over this. And it's like, just go out and buy a new screw. <laughs> or the thing that you needed the screw for, it's like, maybe that was like a thing you're hanging on to that like you needed to replace anyway. Go get a new one. Or maybe you don't even need it. A little bit like that. Yeah, moving forward in a new direction, letting go of the past. You, you've already cried the tears and you have a clear direction as to where you want to go, um, you know, in your mind. Yeah, definitely a clear direction to where you want to go. Because, you know, they're the refugees. It's really interesting. They're the refugees. So they're going from calm, from um, from turbulence, but it's, it's this turbulence to like calm waters and they're not turning away from looking back at the past, you know, in this like, uh, this energy of um, what if, or, um, oh, it was so, you know, rem romanticizing what was, and it's like, you know, because they, you know, they're on the boat because they have to be on the boat. They're on the boat because it's no longer safe. They're on the boat because it's like there's more opportunity and more promise in the future. And that's where they're heading. You know, there's also an energy here of, um, I always feel like that's his mother or his grandmother. So there's an energy for me in that card of really calling on, um, I, it, I know it sounds really wackadoo, but um, like calling on your, like the divine feminine or your deceased ancestors who really loved you, your mother, or your grandma, your aunt, or something like that. Um, or it could be your neighbor, you know, um, to help you, to lead you in the right direction, to lead you in the right direction. Yeah. And this is a gift. This is a gift. You know, sometimes letting go of like the devil you know, even though it's like, oh, but I really love my cookies every day, or I really love obsessing over something that's not going to work, <laughs> or, you know, and it's like, no, it's a gift. It's like this emotional gift that's being offered, and I think you should take it. Because sometimes I say, don't take it. Sometimes I say, it's a weird part. It's got a lot of meanings. It, it depends on the reading. But I feel like this is the gift that's being offered because I have judgment here. I have the hermit. I have the star. I have the high priestess. It's like this is really like like this spiritual, um, I don't know, adventure or avenue opening up and ahead, ahead of you, before you. And it's like, yeah, take the gift. You know what I just got before I even picked her up there and, and here you are, like the empath. I'm feeling like the gift is more spiritual understanding. I feel like the gift is more like a deeper understanding of. It's like more intuitive power. 
what that's what it feels like. It feels like there's more, there's it's knocking on the door, and you're like, oh no, you know, I, I really want to stay in the dark. It's like it's gonna come when it comes. So you might as well take it as a gift as opposed to it being sort of like forced upon you. All right. So like I, for me, I know it's Mexico. I mean, it's it's other things, but it's really Mexico in and of itself. Because there's an attachment to the earth here that I don't feel, like New York is not really attached to the earth. Um, I mean, it is, obviously, but it's, you know. So it, it's like, I sat among the trees yesterday. I just sat among the trees and I felt them. And it feels like, I'm on my way in a way in communicating with trees. I, I've been able to um, uh, slowly um, communicate with um, my mother, who's been dead for 30 something years, more readily, more easily. Like that's what's going on. So I feel like that's what's going on for you. And I, like that's why the Queen of Cups shows up. And that's why the High Priestess shows up. Like, so take the gift it's there you know and you can take as much as you want you don't have to drink the whole cup right you don't have to drink the whole cup it's like take it and then put it back on the shelf and when you're ready again you know you pick it up again yeah and then you know you can manifest whatever you want these are the tools that are coming through these are the tools that are coming through right and in and, in and, and the blessing and the eternity of your soul you know from and the, the diagonal is so interesting it's that you know here the vertical basically symbolizes spirit, right? It comes from, from heaven down to the earth, or from the earth up into heaven, right? And then this, the the uh, horizontal, is is really the material plane that like we're limited by. I mean, that, um, I mean, it's an experience, and it's you know it's really big, but it still has a certain um, limit to it, you know, like times and limit, etc. But then the diagonal comes through. It's like the shortcut, right? It's like from heaven to earth, you know, but like it doesn't have to go through all this, like, oh, it has to be like this. It's like it just comes through. It's like a lightning bolt. Like it just comes through. So that's it. There you go. And I guess you I guess it's like that's what you have to make the time for. Hmm. All right. Uh being stable. Having a new vision, uh, letting go of the um, false path, receiving the gift of intuition toward expansion, being reborn, having a deep self-knowledge, creating something new. A new um, road opens up ahead of you and that, that will be calmer and more tranquil, that you can manifest and use utilize your tools toward a new direction, toward being reborn, toward moving forward, toward knowledge, toward comfort, etc. It's a really nice reading. A really nice reading. I um I'm in the process of maybe moving to this apartment, maybe not. I, I don't know. And um, I have a lesson in a little while. And I've been trying to get as many done as I can because I don't know. I'm going to leave this place and uh, in a day or two. And then I'm going to take another place for a week until things go through with the apartment. I mean, if they're going through, I don't know. So it's like, and then I was like, well, I have to find time to do videos. Because uh, I don't know what the internet, you never know what the internet is in the new apartment until you get there. So it was like, well, I have the time. And it was like, well, I have the time for Pisces, but does Pisces have time for Pisces? That was like a little. So make the time. Blessings.